working way too hard. You're always looking to one-up us, aren't you? <sighs> that is one seriously cool temple. Yeah, points for Ivor, I guess. This was a good tip. Well, Jesse? Order of the Stone, it's time to get some glory. For, For glory. glory! I know we all yelled glory out there, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I was hoping for treasure. Come on, you know how these places work. The treasure's never just out in the open. Let's fan out and search the place. These channels lead to the center of the room. They look like they're designed to let lava flow from those channels in the wall. Why would you want to do that? Hi, Petra. This place is cool. Knew you'd find it. So, how are you feeling lately? Wither sickness free, I think. Now I'm just trying to get used to having teammates and people who worry about me. That's pretty new for me. It's nice though. What do you think Ivor knew about this place? Eh, who knows? That guy's read like a million books and traveled all over the world. You probably start to learn a thing or two about a thing or two. Thoughts on this place? I think I'd rather be in a straight fight than doing all this switch-pulling stuff. But I'm glad Ivor's intel about this place was good. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to solve this. Hey, Olivia. Yeah? So, have you been having a good time hunting for treasure? If you had asked me a couple of months ago, I would never have thought I would like all this adventuring and treasure hunting stuff. But this has actually been a really good time. And I've been getting lots of great stuff to build with. So what kind of treasure do you hope we find in here? Well, I've been working on a build that could use another couple dispensers. But some cocoa beans would be cool too. Any ideas for how to fix this? Well, these channels of lava are blocked in strategic locations by those sticky pistons. Unblock them? And I'm guessing something cool will happen. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Never doubted you for a minute. Hey, Axel. What you need, buddy? So, what kind of loot you think we're gonna find in here? Oh, man, well, I want to make a room with an emerald floor, right? Well, who doesn't? I'm like four emeralds away, so getting some emeralds would be pretty sweet. Man, we have the best adventures, don't we? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I was worried I wouldn't be cool enough or smart enough or whatever enough to be in the Order of the Stone. Thanks for always believing in me, buddy. You know it. Axel, what do you think of the situation? Um, I don't know about the situation. I kind of do more blowing stuff up. So, if you need someone to do stuff like that, I'm totally your guy. Okay, I'm gonna keep working on this. Sounds good, dude.
getting somewhere. would have been disappointed if the floor didn't open up into a dark, creepy passageway. This kind of reminds me of when we first found the Order's temple. We were such a scared bunch of noobs back then. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what we were getting into. Hilarious. And to think, that was just the beginning. Yeah, and that was before we'd fought wither storms, hung out with Enderman, reunited the Order. So crazy. See what we've got. Hey, it's a cake. Ah, oh, man, you got cake? It's just, I really love cake. My mouth is practically watering just looking at it. Hey, if you want it, it's all you. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, thank you. Huh. A pumpkin, not bad. I suppose that could be useful if we run into Enderman. And looks like we've got one more thing in here. It's... What did you find? What are you guys talking about? Whoa, that's super cool. I've never seen flint and steel like that before. That glow, is it some sort of enchantment? I don't know. I've seen people put an unbreaking enchantment on flint and steel before, but that's not unbreaking. You could give it a shot and find out. Okay, flint and steel, do your thing. Well, I have definitely never seen flint and steel do that before. Uh-oh. like some monsters have a death wish. So what's the plan? If you ask me, it seems like a good time for a secret handshake. Warrior whip, go! Come on, Jesse, make it good. Just look. You guys, that was amazing! Okay, okay. It wasn't bad. Get you out of here. 
I tell you guys, doing that never gets old. Woo! Yeah, not too bad. Killing a bunch of monsters, getting sweet treasure. Like that flint and steel thing? You gotta try it again. I'd be curious to see it again, too. I'm dying to know how it works. I'm good. You can give it a shot, though. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Well, well. Where'd you get the new toy? Order of the losers. Yeah, losers. Ugh, who let you guys out of your cave? Joke's on you, we don't live in a cave. Sorry, but who are you again? Oh, I get it. The Order of the Stone is so fancy that they don't even recognize us anymore. Even though we used to wipe the floors with you guys every building competition. So what are you... Ocelots doing here anyway. The Ocelots were Lucas's gang. We ditched that name just like we ditched him. Yeah, we rebranded. We're the Blaze Rods now. Blaze Rods! Shut up, Gil. Huh? Pretty cool name. Of course it is. And I don't give a crap about what you think. And where's Lucas, huh? The minute the Order decided you were cool... For whatever reason... He wouldn't stop sniffing around you like a tame dog. You take that back! Hmm... No. Hey, Lucas is ten times the guy you are. Yeah, Lucas is a hero. Which is more than I can say for any of you creeps. You probably think that thing makes you so special. Classic Jesse. You take all the best stuff and never give anyone else a chance. That should have been ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Blaze Rods. Hey, we earned this, all right? Fair and square. Yeah, we fought monsters, lava, and levers to get this thing, and we ain't giving it up. <laughs> Nothing you've ever done has been fair and square, Jesse. Hand over the flint and steel, Jesse. Don't make me ask again. You don't get that one. It's supposed to be mine. Haven't you taken enough? Go find your own stuff, Aiden. It's not enough that you gotta save the world. You had to go and take all the world's best stuff, too. So, if I want my own stuff, that means I need to take it from you. I'm tired of listening to your jaw flap. Ah! You don't touch me! Some hero you are, Jesse. Let's just go home, you guys. These blaze rods aren't worth it. <sighs> Fine. What hope do we have when heroes like you are throwing your weight around like this? It's not always going to be this way, though. Come on, you guys. Let's get out of here. Blaze rods! Ooh. I told you to shut up! Look out, Jesse. I don't remember him being that angry before. Wow, us being the new Order of the Stone is really getting to that guy. He's gone crazy. We should be careful. He seems different, scarier. Man, and all because he wanted that flint and steel. What are you gonna do with it? Ivor's the one that told us about this temple. He might know something about it. Whatever it is, it's powerful. And I'm gonna figure out what it does. Finally starting to recognize stuff again. Feels good to almost be home. Cheers to that, friend. I just can't shake what Aiden was saying about us back there. We do get a lot of treasure. And I guess sometimes we might throw our weight around. What? No. Aiden's got a bad case of treasure envy, pure and simple. I don't know. Well, I guess we do always try and get all the best treasure. Yeah, but that just means we have great taste. Not that we're like bullies or something. Well, no matter what Aiden thinks, there's one thing I know. What's that? They think we're awesome. They're back! You guys, they're back! Run! Tell everyone that our heroes have returned! Oh, 
Yep, New Order of the Stone is back in town. It looks freaking awesome! Welcome back! See that? Jesse high-fived me! Me! It actually hurt a little bit. Wow. That wasn't a happy to see us scream. Wow, that's new. It somehow manages to evoke skulls and tentacles. Oh, that thing looks completely dangerous. Eh, not my fault! Look out! Oh, uh, help! Oh, stop your whining! What are your pathetic injuries in comparison to my majestic tower? Ivor? <sighs> of course. Oh, Jesse, you're back! Don't listen to a word these fools tell you. It's a fire hazard! And your face is an ugly hazard! So I suppose we're even. Causing trouble again? Nothing. Just a little spirited debate with the local community. Brain function is proving difficult for them. You need to remove this now! Jesse, all I wanted was what any man wants. A little house of my own, with loads of lava pouring off it. Ivor, I know you mean well, but your house wants to kill people. Dude, you made a killer house. Exactly! Killer! What about just moving it someplace else? I'm sure... Move it? Way more lava is going to spill out if we do that. Well, we have to tear it down. We can't let that monstrosity stand. It's my house, Jesse. I have just as much a right to build something as all these people, don't I? Sorry, Ivor, but your house is way too much of a hazard to the community. Tear it down, everyone. Good call. Ah, it's a slippery slope, Jesse. Today, the lava house. Tomorrow, who knows what kind of rules you'll be imposing. Don't be a sore loser, Ivor. Fat. <laughs> Haven't seen you around in a while. So what can I do for you? Ivor, we found something in that temple you told us about. What? You did? <laughs> yes, great to see you again. Let's do lunch. I'll bring the carrots. There's no telling who's listening. Meet me in the treasure room. Ten minutes. And bring the thing you found! Well, if we're gonna tear this down, we better start getting some buckets together to scoop up all the lava. You got any iron? Oh man, no, I'm all out. <sighs> okay, we better go mine some more. We'll catch up with you later. Yeah, once we give this majestic house the funeral it deserves. Stay out of trouble, you two. <laughs> you stay out of trouble. Good one. Thanks. Later, guys. Come on, let's go find Ivor. Wow, this place is really shaping up. Whoa, Lucas! I don't believe it! Oh, hey guys! You have some pretty cool stuff in here. Crazy stuff. In ages, where were you? Oh, you know, just helping to rebuild and stuff. Weatherstorm left a big mess out there. Yeah, a lot of homes got wrecked. That's really good of you to help out like that. And you have so many other treasures. Boy, you've sure been busy. Oh, wow. You framed it. I'm him. Yeah. How are you doing? I really, really miss him. Every morning I wake up and just for a minute, I can pretend that he's just in another room or rooting around outside looking for carrots. And then 
Every morning, I get to remember all over that he's gone. I'm so sorry. <sighs> okay, guys. Look, I promise I wasn't just here to bum everybody out. I actually came back because I need to tell you something. It's about this weird run-in I had with Aiden. Ugh! I hate that guy! Uh-huh, yeah, we saw him too. The Order of the Stone and the Blaze Rods are just as friendly as ever. That's an understatement. He's just been so jealous of you and the rest of the Order ever since you saved the world from the Witherstorm. He's convinced that he was supposed to be a hero. Ever since he took over the Ocelot and the Blaze Rods, it just seems like he's gotten meaner. He's pushing Maya and Gil around. Jealous? Why? He thinks you're a big bully, Jesse. Looting and keeping all the good stuff for yourself. So what'd you find that got Aiden so excited, anyway? Check it out. Wow. What a weird glow. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to show it to... You found it! Yeah! Whoa! Dude, what's wrong with you? This is the greatest find of our time. I can't believe you're actually... I mean, it's got some sort of enchantment on it, but it's just a flint and steel, right? Jesse... That's not just some sort of enchantment. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Whoa. Yeah. Dramatic. So, what's the flint and steel do, then? Uh, not 100% sure, actually. But I suspect that it's related to the exciting part. You see, if these builders truly existed, and if you found their temple, that means we're one step closer to finding the Eversource. What a beautiful sight. Looks like you came back just in time, Lucas. The Ever... what now? The Eversource! Are you, uh, gonna actually explain it any more than that? The Eversource is said to be an object of incredible power possessed by the old builders. It was some sort of treasure or artifact that gave them an endless supply of precious materials. Think about it, Jesse. That temple must have been its hiding place. Wow. Old builders? You learn something new every day. I'm still just trying to wrap my head around the Eversource. Okay, so this flint and steel might have this old builder enchantment, but how do you know that's where this Eversource thing is? I've traveled near and far, Jesse, and that temple, that flint and steel, is the only firm proof that I've ever seen of the old builders. That does seem like a pretty good bet. Old builders, ever sources, ancient mysteries. You know I'm in. Excellent! I'll pack my adventuring things immediately. Wait, he's coming? Wow, sounds like you guys have a lot to get to. I, uh, guess I'll take off? Nope, you're coming with. I need a buffer between me and Ivor. Let's get moving. This is so exciting. <laughs> Adventure! Lucas, I know it's daytime, but watch our backs, okay? I can't believe we're bringing Ivor with us. I mean, it's nice that he's so excited, but oh, not my top choice for adventuring companion. Hey, he's not so bad. Why are you being so hard on him? Uh, maybe you forgot the whole Witherstorm thing? He kind of has a history of being a world-scale pain in the butt. These trees are enormous! I love it so much! <sighs> he just really gets on my nerves sometimes. Remarkable. Look at this architecture. So old. So exquisite. Oh, this is just how I dreamed it would be. Except for less cake. My dreams usually involve cake. Ivor, it's nice to see you smiling. I'm not smiling. Wow, it looks so different during the day. Okay, but careful what you touch. There could be traps everywhere. Petra, blonde guy, are you two as excited as I am? I'm not sure that's possible. What? I can't she believe that you just seem to be super area excited, here last night. Ivor. Eh, we were kind of fighting, oh, a ton of monsters. It's not surprising that we didn't hit every single nook and cranny. You look excited, Ivor. 
excited. I'm ecstatic, thrilled, overjoyed. The Eversource could finally be within my grasp. Once, sir, uh, once we find it, that is. Pretty cool temple, right? Yeah, it's amazing. Not gonna lie to you, Jesse, I'm pretty excited to be along for the ride on this one. I wasn't there last night. That looks promising. I'm heading up. Fantastic! We'll follow right behind you! Uh, yeah. What he said. So, you think this Eversource thing is up here? Hard to say, Jesse. Story goes, the old builders feared its potential. Well, that so seems they promising. Away in a place where it would never be found. Jesse, what do you see? <gasps> Some kind of portal? It's just as I'd imagined. That's a weird-looking portal. Have you seen anything like it before? No. The old builders experimented with portals, but this is different from anything I've seen. Here goes nothing. Oh, thanks for bringing this back to me, Jesse. I knew you were good for something. Dude, why are you being such a tool? Your little adventure is over, Jesse. Time to go home. Step aside, Jesse. We're heading through that portal now. Oh, no way! Aiden, you're done. This is where it ends. Fine. Blaze rods! Clear me a path. Follow them. If they get the Eversource, who knows what trouble they'll cause. We're going after Aiden and we're going to take him down. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <sighs> Don't worry, I've got you! <sighs> oh, you are surprisingly heavy. I am. Uh. The proportionate weight for my height. Thank you very much. There you go. Easy now. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, what just happened? How did that portal even work? I suppose much the same way a portal to the nether works, except to an entirely different world. Hey, uh, you guys see that? What? I'm starting to think Ivor was right about this being another world. Wow. Looks like some kind of city. That's incredible. That's it! That's where it must be! The Eversource. The city and the clouds. It almost sounds impossible. I just don't know how we're gonna reach it. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be a problem. I can't believe this. We fall through a portal into another world, and then we can't even go anywhere. Okay, people, you know the drill. What did you guys bring with you? That's my private business. Didn't exactly bring a whole lot. Why? Because we're building a bridge, and it'll take everything we have. I don't know. Seems like a long way. Do we have enough blocks? I mean, it's really, really far. 
Yes, very astute, Lucas. Elementary, my dear Lucas. The underside of this island is much, much bigger than it appears. Really? Jesse's right. If we strip this whole island down to nothing, it might just be enough. Stop pushing! I'm not pushing! Lucas is pushing! I'm just trying to keep away from the edge! It's all edge! Okay, gang, I think that should do it. Let's make ourselves a bridge. Excellent! Okay, this is our stop. Everybody off. Ivor, seriously? This is in memory of my lava house. Long live lava! Your building. I, you, I, I, I don't. Hey there, love what you did with your town. Yeah, it's very flashy. You helped build it? You, 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 you were building. Uh, unauthorized building is against the law. Wait, there's a law saying people can't build? Yes, it's forbidden. This, this makes no sense. No sense. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. We had no idea. It's a stupid law. Oh, jeez. First those other outsiders, now you. Other outsiders? Where are uh, they? Uh, uh, they went to the inn. I I'm sorry, but that's all I know. Wait, wait, wait. Come I'm back. super busy. Sorry. And he's gone. <sighs> Darn. I wonder if everyone here is that nervous. <laughs> wow. Incredible. What's it made of? It's kind of blinding to look at it. it looks like it's all gold and iron blocks. Whoever built this had rare materials to burn. Yes. Clearly, the Eversource is capable of miraculous things. And when I get my hands on it... Hey, how about you take a massive chill pill and we find it first? Yes, 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 yes! I'm just getting excited. And as crazy as Aiden's been lately, if he gets that thing, it would be bad. Well, if we beat him to it, he won't be able to get his slimy little hands on the thing. I'm starting to think that maybe we should try and keep a low profile while we look for the inn. These people seem pretty suspicious of us. Agreed. Hello! It is nice to meet you! You doing okay, Ivor? Better than okay! This city is magnificent! You should really take notes for that town of yours. Boy, these are some popular crafting tables. Don't worry, everyone. Your turn will come in time. Please have your materials ready when you approach the crafting table. Huh? I knew I shouldn't have waited so long to eat. This is a long line just to use a crafting table. You're telling me I'm so hungry I could practically eat my wheat right here, but I won't. I'll be patient and turn it into delicious bread instead. What, uh, what can I do for you? Seems pretty inefficient to have everyone sharing one crafting table. Why don't you just build your own? What? Hey, I don't know what your deal is, but I don't want any part of it. Please leave me alone now. Thank you. Hey there. Are you on the schedule for the furnace this afternoon? Didn't think there were any more appointments today. Hang on. Let me see here. Dale, 10 stone blocks. Oh yes, that went very well. Appointment? Why would I need an appointment to use a furnace? By city law, acts of crafting are only authorized with the founder's permission. This appointment system is in place to safeguard against any illegal building or crafting. If you wish to make an appointment, speak to the founder. Good day. No building, no crafting, no brewing, no forging, unless with express permission from the founder. All complaints must be registered in person. That's it, you can stop writing now. Intense.
Hey, Petra, what you looking at? Just admiring the sights, actually. This place is so cool. I'm not usually one for, like, checking out people's builds or whatever, but even I have to admit, this is really impressive. The founder isn't accepting visitors right now. Captain Reginald, at your service. Hey, so what are you guys up to? Ah, just supervising this citizen while she does her build. The founder finally approved my petition. The founder? Well, that's her palace up there. She is the keeper of the Eversource. Builds everything you see. Some days I can't even fathom how she keeps it all straight. She builds everything? Yeah, well, it sure is amazing. <laughs> that's why she gets to make the calls about what does or doesn't get built. Like my build. It's no easy feat to get all these oak blocks. Your petition was very well handled. Man, that sounds like a tough way to live life. I suppose. It's the way it's always been, though. Hi. Uh, hello. Wow, you are really focused, huh? I mean, yeah. It took me weeks to get this building permit, and I am not going to waste it. How's it going, Lucas? I'm okay. Just watching these guards. They really mean business. Yeah, I wouldn't mess with them if I were you. Can't believe they just built their way right into town. No, I've never seen anything uh, like it. Hello. Oh, oh my. Hello again. Can we uh do anything for you? Were you two talking about me just now? Um, no, no, uh, of course not. Uh-huh. Please don't hurt us. Can you two point me in the direction of the inn? They must be looking for Milo. Shh! Uh, uh, I mean, no, 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 we don't know any Milo. Really? Because it sure sounds like you know him. Uh, okay, okay. We know of him. If you really want to find him... He's the kind of messy-looking guy. Spender's always falling down. So messy. Thanks, I guess. You guys seem like you might have the scoop. What's up with the Eversource? Well, um, mm, well, it's, it's in the palace. I'll just leave you guys alone, then. Have a nice day. Please stop building. It scares me. What? Nothing. We could have almost died just oh, then. Hush. Don't step on the grass, please. Okay. Sorry. I just take my job very seriously because it is, in fact, serious business. Not many people get the honor of watching the tree, but... <laughs> Do you like guarding this garden? Why, this is no ordinary garden, stranger. The dirt here is precious. This garden feeds almost everybody in town. If even one block were to drop over the edge, <laughs> catastrophe. Sorry, stranger. Can't come up here. And where should I put them? Yes, just get them here. I'll deal with them. Get out of here. Go, go! Uh, why, hello there. What can I do for you? I'm not sure what the custom is where you come from, but uh, here <laughs> it is considered impolite to stare. I heard from someone in town that you could help me. Other people were... Talking about me? <laughs> they must have me mistaken with some other handsome innkeeper. <laughs> <clears throat> Out of curiosity, what is it that uh, they thought I could help you with? I'm sorry, but I'm actually quite busy. Inns don't keep themselves, you know. Lots of busy work. Some punks are trying to steal the Eversource. You know anything about it? 
Really? You come up to me interrogating me about some outlandish nonsense, and then you want to discuss someone stealing our city's most valuable treasure? I don't want any part of it. I'm sorry, but it's like I told those other outsiders. I can't help you. Now, please. Hey, this our guy? He tell you where to find the blaze rods? How many of you are there? I told you, I don't know anything. He hasn't told you anything yet? Is he hiding them somewhere? Look, I know you talk to them, Milo. Just spill it. Fine. If it will make you leave me alone, that Aiden fellow did come talk to me earlier. Wanted to know where the Eversource was. Called it! I just told him what everyone else already knows. The Eversource is in the palace with the Founder. That's all that happened, I swear. What a bunch of creeps! Yes, I wasn't terribly fond of them. So where is Aiden now? The group left for the palace, and I haven't seen them since. Attention! Attention, everyone! Just a moment of your time, please. Emergency meeting, attendance is mandatory. Oh, slime blocks. Curious. I wonder what that's all about. Oh, it's the founder. I wonder what this is all about. Yes, I'm nervous being surrounded by so many people. Oh, this is not good. What are you... Oh, crap. People of Sky City, I'm sorry to pull you from your duties, but something urgent has come to my attention. A crime has been committed. A crime? What kind please, of crime? Please, please remain calm. Earlier today, outsiders built a bridge into our fair city from a distant island. Whether these outsiders know it or not, this is a violation of Sky City's most sacred law. No unauthorized building. Wait, is that you? Are you the bridge builders? Obscene Evil builders! Atrocious! And I didn't know it was against the law. It was just a bridge. This is nuts! Jesse, wherever you are, step forward now. I have already been informed of your identity. I appreciate that you may be ignorant of our laws, but I will warn you, Sky City is small, and I promise that if you try to hide, I will find you. We need to get to that ever source at whatever cost. This is clearly our fastest way into the castle. Am I getting arrested? Wait! Don't be fooled by the Founder's lies. I can help you come up with a plan to get into the palace. Here I am! I built the bridge! Are you crazy? Does she look like she's gonna help us? Hey, hey don't treat him like that. We didn't do anything wrong. <gasps> the builders! Ha! Knew you'd see it my way. Thank you, Jesse. Hey, hands off the roads. Guards, bring them forward. Jesse, I... I'll find a way to help you, I promise. I hope you know what you're doing. Let go of me, that's instant! Excuse me, excuse me. Come with me. We meet at last. <laughs> Hello there, Founder. I'm Jesse. So I gathered. Hmm. I admire your honesty in stepping forward. This should be interesting. service to Sky City. I grant you these gifts. There, see? That minecart she summoned. It must lead to the Eversource. Really? That's what you're focusing on? I'd say we have bigger problems on our hands. Like Aiden. Look at him, all friendly with the Founder. That's bad news. Ivor's right. That must be the way to the Eversource. Ha! Nailed it. Take your reward and enjoy the bounty of Sky City's generosity. Carrots? Really? You gotta be kidding. We are honored, wonderful founder. Of course. Now go. 
I have criminals to deal with. Good luck, Jesse. I hope you like being doomed. Totally doomed. Aiden, you don't have to do this. We can work together and all go home. Oh, we're way past that, Jesse. Out of my way, Reggie. It's Reginald. Come on, criminals. Time to see the Founder. Jesse and accomplices. You have committed acts of wanton and illegal building, something specifically forbidden by our laws. Explain yourself. This could still turn out okay. Are you kidding? She does not sound friendly. Founder, ma'am, you've got to believe me. I'm not the bad guy here. Aiden's the one you should be worried about. Oh, really? Aiden told me all about you, Jesse. About how you're a tyrant back home. About how you and your Order of the Stone steal all the world's treasures for yourself. About how you're here to steal the Eversource from my city. A terrible act of treason. Founder, ma'am, that's actually not what the Order of the Stone does. Yes, we collect treasure, but we help save the whole world. We're not tyrants or thieves. Aiden's got that all wrong. Really? Jesse, it's clear that you're the little ringleader. So how about you come with me? Um, okay. Ah, I guess we'll just wait here then. Tell me what you see. I don't see anything. It's just empty. Precisely. As you can see, nothing exists below us, only the void. Resources, every kind, are incredibly precious. And when something falls, it is gone forever. It is why building only happens when I dictate it. People only receive materials when I allow it. Otherwise, we would collapse back into chaos. It is my duty to keep my people safe. And the only way I can do that is if our laws are obeyed. I guess that makes sense. How would you get anything new up here? I appreciate your trying to understand our world. <sighs> People act as though I want things to be this way. Allocating the limited resources. Risking my life every day. Wait, what do you mean by limited? I heard the Eversource could make unlimited precious materials. If only it were so simple. I'll have you know that before I found the Eversource, this world was nothing more than a cluster of pathetic islands in the sky. I do this for my people. That is why I do what I do. But you don't need to do it alone. We could help you. We could work together. <sighs> Being the leader of this city, it is a tiring burden. Uh, but no, this is my city. These are my people. And it is my responsibility. I think I've heard quite enough. Good. Now that you're back, we can talk properly. Reginald, I've made my decision. While I'm not convinced that you are here to steal the Eversource, the fact remains that you constructed a bridge of dirt without authorization. That is why you and your companions are to be detained <gasps> until I can discern the full truth of the matter. Reginald, please remove them. Yes, ma'am. What? What? That's not fair. You can't lock us up. I believe you'll find that I can. Sorry, outsiders. Founder's orders. No changing your mind now. Fascinating stuff here. 
Hey, you already locked us up. Do you really need to confiscate our stuff, too? Well, it wouldn't be much of a jail if I let you keep your stuff. Oh, wow. What is this? That's fine? It's almost like dirt, but not. That's called sand. You've never seen sand before? Sand? Wow. What's it do? Are you kidding me? We are not going to explain sand to the guy locking us behind bars. I refuse. Well, whatever it does, it's going in the chest with everything else. <laughs> Nothing sadder than an unimportant man on the world's tiniest power trip. Hey, I don't have to take this. I'm in charge here. You're criminals. Aiden told everyone all about how horrible you are. <clears throat> he said that you burn down trees just for fun. That you steal all the world's treasures and hoard them for yourself. He also said that you tame wild animals just so you can make them chase innocent people. Does this look like the face of a horrible criminal? Well, no. I suppose you don't seem that way now that I meet you. I'm sorry, but this is the way it has to be. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go help the Blaze Rods beef up security. I can't believe I'm taking orders from that sniveling little... <clears throat> Stay here. Don't cause any trouble. I'm sure you'll be very comfortable. Reginald, you're the captain of the guard. If you don't think you can trust the blaze rods, you should listen to those instincts. They're personal guests of the Founder, and sure, maybe I don't like them, but... I'm probably just being... paranoid. Reggie, listen to me. You've seen how they act. They're not good people. You know it. Uh, okay. Let's say you make a good point. And I'm not saying you do. But hypothetically, why would I, Captain of the Guard, let you, a criminal, out of that cell? I'll never know how you looked at them and thought, there are some upstanding citizens. Okay, maybe you don't like me very much, but tell me this. Who do you not like more, me or Aiden? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's say I'm heading to the pantry Get you prisoners some bread. And maybe you'll forget to lock the door? Please just get out of here. Get to the throne room and stop the blaze rods. Ha! Huh, nice work! Now! On to the Eversource. I mean, I understand wanting to stop the blaze rods, but you can't still really want to steal the Eversource, can you? Honestly, I just don't want Aiden to get his hands on the Eversource. So long as we stop him, that's what's important. Sounds good to me. No way Aiden would do anything good if he had it. Throne room was back this way. Well, here we are. Back in the throne room. Keep your voice down. We don't know if we're alone in here. I don't know. Looks deserted to me. Behind you! Ugh. Hey! We 
Wait, stop! Milo, easy! That's Jesse and Lucas! Jesse, I can't believe we found you! I can't believe you punched me! Ah, yes, I feel absolutely terrible about that. Let me assure you, where were you? Yeah. We were actually planning to break you out of jail, but I guess you guys have that covered. Hello again, Jesse. It seems fate has destined our paths to cross once more. Hey, you're that weird innkeeper guy. Ha, <laughs> well, that is my day job. In actuality, I'm the leader of a group that wants the same thing you do. It's a rebellion. It is a long story. In short, my people want to free the Eversource from the Founder's clutches so that everyone may use it. If Aiden and his blaze rods steal the Eversource, we'll just be trading one tyrant for another. And I won't allow that. Yeah, he's got to be stopped. If we work together, we can find it first. I do like the idea of beating Aiden. Milo, I'm happy to have you aboard. Welcome to the team. I'm very pleased to be involved. The Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. Yeah, there was a door here before with a minecart. Yeah, what happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's got to be something in here we can use. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap! How's it looking? Still looking like it needs power. Don't worry, I'll find the answer. Okay. I believe in you. See anyone? Not yet, but the acoustics are funky in this place, so it's hard to tell when people are coming. We shouldn't hang around. Got it. I'm glad you're okay, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, me too. Habits of the Enderman by Soren? Wow, how'd that get here? The rest are just inventory registries and legal information. Boring. Wow, it's so big. The nothingness, I mean. There isn't, like, a potion or something that could help us, is there? That's not how potions work, Jesse. Although I should really look into that. Oh, uh, Jesse. Thank you, by the way, for getting arrested with me. No one has ever done anything like that for me before. Ah, uh, well, you're welcome, I Now heard. go away! All of this opening up is making me grossly uncomfortable. Jesse, what are you doing? Ha, huh, sorry. So do you have, like, any underground rebel-type secrets that could help us out here? Uh, I'm afraid not. Though I will certainly tell you, if I think of any. Hmm, I get the feeling this is a special tree. Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. Well, that is pretty special. Huh. <gasps> A cobblestone generator. Amazing! Lava and water, placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone! Genius! Ingenious. Poor dead bush. Barely more than a bundle of sticks. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. 
perfect. I think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. Okay, let's do this. Ah, my old friend the lever. Fantastic! Yeah, didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. You and your friend Petra have been very inspiring to me and my people. With your help, we may finally liberate ourselves from the Founder's clutches. Source, here we come. <sighs> wow, look at all these chests. Yeah, and they're all labeled. Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman. Curious. But what does it mean? Huh. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? A sheep? Is. Is that a monster? That is not so bad. It is fluffy. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. The Founder must have to kill literally thousands of monsters to get the resources to make anything. That doesn't seem very efficient. But she doesn't have any other options. Stay on your toes! We're close! Ah! I can't wait! Let's take a look around. Source. What? No way. Yes. The spawn eggs. It's so simple. So the chicken lays the eggs, and the eggs make monsters, and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the minecart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? What are you talking about? We need to bring it to the people. With it, we'll finally be free of the Founder! But that clucking thing is what we came for! Milo's right. The Eversource belongs to the people. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure! I knew it! I knew you were here to steal from me! Pain! Oh, she's too fast! Just give me a second to catch my breath. Well, hang on a second. Let's talk about this, okay? I'm not sure there's anything to talk about. It's just like I told you, Founder. They're here to steal the Eversource. Classic Order of the Stone. You don't say. What? No! Don't believe them! You have the wrong idea! Shut up, criminals. No, 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 no. You don't get to spin it like this, Aiden. You're the bad guy! And I'm supposed to believe the escaped convicts? Aiden warned me that you were a pack of thieves. And here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. 
Yep. Afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. Somebody order eggs. <gasps> Reaper, look out! I've got Aiden! Save the found Oh, you got me, Lucas? Got you. Thank you. Thank you. Lucas! You're down here too? Lucas, you made it! Oh, yeah, only slightly worse for wear. Ah, hey, Aiden's tougher than I remember. Mm, got me pretty good. Lucas, I'm really sorry I didn't try to help you up there. I only had a few seconds. Everything was happening so fast. No, no, don't worry about it. Aiden was, uh, <laughs> stronger than I was expecting. It was good of you to try and save the founder. Uh, speaking of whom, is she okay? She's just sort of staring. Uh, let me ask. Founder? Miss Founder? I, uh, hope she's not in shock or something. We made it! We're alive! This is huge! Yes. Yes, you are correct. This... this is huge. <sighs> this has been down here the whole time. I forbade anyone to look for land below us. Well, land is going to be a pretty big game changer for you guys. I mean, it's going to change everything. Yes. Look at this place. Totally untouched biomes all around us. Yes, it's all a little overwhelming. What, what do I do now? Well, how about you start with a few deep breaths? <laughs> Seeing all this after you've been crammed on a tiny island, that would be overwhelming for anybody. Miss Founder, ma'am, this is pretty big, so just take a minute, enjoy the sights, breathe it in. Yeah, getting back up to Sky City might be a little exhausting. Getting back up? My word, you're right. We need to do that. I hadn't even thought that far ahead yet. Oh, that's not a good sign. Definitely a bad sign. Your city's probably in big trouble right now. I can't believe Ace would be so stupid. I can't leave my subjects in whatever trouble they're in. 
Jesse, will you please help me get back to Sky City? Stop Aiden! Help me protect my people. We did kind of start this mess. Of course I'll help you, you're the founder. Thank you, Jesse. And please, call me Isa. Okay, getting back up. Getting back up. Let's see what we've got to work with. Huh, that'll work. What is it? Oh, I see where you're getting at. Nice. Get ready to build the tallest thing you ever built. What? We're gonna build a tower of dirt all the way back up to Sky City. Grab as much dirt as you can carry. Oh, okay. That should do it. Jesse, what is that? It's the other half of the portal that brought me here. Man, what a relief. I mean, once you get that flint and steel back, it should be a straight shot home now. Well, guys, you ready? Yes, I, I think so. I, uh... I think I actually gotta sit this one out, Jesse. Aiden got me pretty good. I'm just not sure I'm up for towering all the way back up there. I'm really sorry. I probably wouldn't be able to keep up anyway. Yeah, you don't look so good. You should rest up, try and get some food. That's what I was thinking. Thanks for understanding. There you go, buddy. Thank you for trying to help. It was very noble. Hey, what's with the last goodbye tone? I'll see you guys when you get back. Oh, and give Aiden another punch for me. Will do. Come on, we've got an epic climb ahead of us. We've got a city to save. You ready? I believe so. And when I get up there, I'm going to tear those blaze rods limb from limb. Oh, and Jesse, I appreciate what you did up there. Trying to save me, I mean. City is under attack by monsters, ma'am. Everywhere. They seem to be coming from inside the palace itself. Hey, come on, we need to stop him. I'm sorry, Jesse, but I have to save my people. Take care of yourself out there, okay? And to you as well. Jesse, you're alive. Please, can you help us? Hang tight, Milo. quick on your feet. But with all seriousness, how are you alive? I saw you go over the edge. Okay, quick version. You know how you all thought there was nothing but void below you? Yes. Yeah, that was wrong. There's land. You speak truthfully, my friend? No. Well, I can't wait to hear all about it later. I gotta get to the palace. Thank you, my friend. We'll see you on the other side. How'd you like that, huh? Blade Rod! Aiden has 
taken over the palace. He's holed up in the throne room, throwing those spawn eggs everywhere. No one can get inside! You need to stop him. I know. Jesse, take one of these. They're all locally sourced and handcrafted. I use only the best ingredients. Give me a potion of speed. Here! Go fast. Back down and get out of my face, Reggie! You're delusional, Aiden! The people of Sky City will never bow to you! You killed the founder! Yeah? Well, you're gonna be next if you don't... This is between you and me, Aiden. Leave Reginald out of it. I saw you fall! You went down! You're alive! You're alive! Is the Founder with you? I heard... <laughs> what the... Reginald! Not one more step! I killed you once! I could do it again! You thought you could just kick me off the edge? Unfortunately for you, Aiden, I'm pretty tough to kill. Just die already! Should have left while you had the chance! Someone else in the spotlight, can you? You just can't let anyone else win. It just drives you crazy to see someone else succeed, doesn't it? Aiden, this isn't about who wins and who loses. It's about what's right. And that is why you're gonna lose! Deserve that kind of mercy. Get moving. You're coming with us. Th th thank you. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> More than you deserve, frankly.
retrieve the Eversource. Yes, ma'am. Everyone, stay together! Jesse, there you are! Jesse, the situation is getting out of hand. We simply can't stop all the monsters and protect my people. The longer we stay here, the more danger my people will be in. I guess we could jump for it. The waterfalls. The waterfalls can take us to safety. What? Are you crazy? The waterfalls will just take us into the void. We'll die if we fall down there. The void won't kill you. There's land down there. Everyone just watch me and follow my lead, okay? Telling the truth, I saw the land as well. In fact, I will prove it to you. Ah, wait for me! Thank you enough. You've saved us all. So what do we do now? Everything's just so different. What do you do? You go have fun. You guys were cooped up there so long. Now you can go do whatever you want. Oh. Freeze, criminals! You're not going anywhere. I knew you'd stop him. Nice work. Now, this is just speculation, but... I'm guessing they have some regrets. I knew they wouldn't get away. Ooh, I bet the blaze rods are in for a bad time. These Sky City people are not happy with them. Yeah, hopefully they dig a deep hole, bury them in it, surround it with lava, and... Sorry, got a little carried away there. Aiden. Oh, uh... Hi, Jesse. I'm, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to cause all that trouble. I can see where it all went wrong. I've uh, got some regrets, to say the least. Yeah, I'm sorry too, Aiden. It didn't have to be that way. I was just so jealous, bitter. And you had all this cool stuff going on, and, and I just wanted a piece. I wanted my time to shine too. I'd say you have a lot to think about. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Try and make a fresh start, okay, Aiden? Do something good for these guys. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Make myself a little house. Uh, maybe I'll become a writer. I won't try to compete with you anymore. Attention! Attention! Hello, hello everyone, please. This is your founder speaking. Now that we're all safe, we need to organize. Start planning our new community. Are you listening to yourself? That's insane! We were prisoners long enough on that island in the sky. It is time for us to run free! Build whatever we please! Wow, those two just cannot get along. Jesse, I cannot allow my people to be influenced by this naive idealist. Hey, both of you, fighting isn't going to solve anything. It will if I win. Oh, of course you'd think that way. No, you don't understand. It will be night soon, and that is when the monsters come out. If we don't prepare, we'll be in danger. You're just making excuses to control our behavior, just like before. We must trust in ourselves, be able to learn from our mistakes. The people need to build! Well, I think you're both right. 
You don't want to just run around with no plan, but you can't schedule and organize everything either. People need to be free to try new things, but you've got to be safe about it. I suppose I still have much to learn. Thank you, Jesse. I don't understand yet, but I trust you. Well, Jesse, I suppose the era of Sky City is over. We may disagree about how to run this place, but I thank you for everything you have done. I guarantee that we will be telling stories about your visit for many, many years to come. But this is a second chance at making a civilization. Don't waste it, okay? I don't intend to. I give my solemn oath. You know something? She was a little scary at first, but she's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss that crazy guy. I guess we should prepare for Nightfall too. Without another portal, we're stuck here. Been a while since I've had to start from square one. Ugh, just when I thought my days of punching trees were behind me. Now you shouldn't worry so much. I've got our way home all figured out. When I was on the ground with the founder before I totally found the portal. And you didn't say anything? Yeah. I'm actually gonna have to agree with Ivor on this one. Did I not mention it either? Cause I could have sworn I said something. No, you didn't. I guess the moment just never presented itself. Come on. Oh, hi. Ah, oh, there you are. I'm so sorry about her. That's okay. Looks like she's having fun running around. Yes, I think she took it pretty well when I told her she didn't need to be the Eversource anymore. What are we going to do with you now, huh? What are you going to do now? Besides, continue to be adorable, of course. <laughs> but that was a given. Are you going to set her free? I tried to, actually, but she kept coming back. We've spent so long together, I suppose we sort of need each other now. After so long being the founder and the Eversource, now we can just be Isa and her best friend, Benedict. Ah, uh, that's a boy's name. Huh, what a closed-minded attitude. Jesse, I would be honored if you would take this as a small token of our gratitude. Thank you. Come along, Benedict. We have a lot of adventures ahead of us. Well, there goes the Eversaurs. Off to cluck and peck at seeds for the rest of its valuable life. <laughs> Hey, Jesse. You okay? Jesse? No, I just I saw those pigs and, you know. Oh, yes. He would be really happy to know you're still having adventures like this. See? Just like I told you, one portal back home. I just can't wait to put this whole world behind us. Oh, is someone being grumpy? No, a little. I was just hoping for a real treasure is all. <laughs> Livestock's no proper treasure. Although I wonder what would happen if you put that tiny crown on a different chicken. Come on, guys, let's go home. We don't Axel and Olivia here where we've been. They'll never believe it. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs>